Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm excited to share a brand new project with you. We've built a DIY wireless mobile charger, and now we're testing it to see how well it works. This charger can wirelessly charge any smartphone using electromagnetic induction. We've focused on making it compact and efficient. Stick around as we go through the build. Let's start the making process. First, we've taken some copper wire and wrapped it around the top of a cold drink can about 15 times tightly. Once the coiling is done properly, we need to carry out this step with extreme care, as this part of the setup will actually act as the current supply for our entire system. Even a slight mistake here can affect the performance or safety of the circuit, so it's important to be we carefully remove it. After this step, our circuit starts to take shape and looks something like this. Here we are using PVC tape, as you can clearly see. This tape helps secure the components tightly in place and ensures proper insulation as well. It's an essential part of the setup to keep everything stable and safe. After completing the taping, we need to bring a small cream box, which you can easily find at any local shop. On this box, we will attach our coil using a glue gun, just as you're seeing in the video. This will hold the coil firmly in place and give our setup a neat and secure base. Once the coil is fixed in place, the the next step is to bring in a transistor. Make sure to use the exact transistor shown in the video, as the correct number is important for the circuit to work properly. We're securing the transistor to the coil with the trusty glue gun, ensuring a rock-solid connection. As you'll notice from the accompanying diagram, the wiring is refreshingly straightforward, designed for effortless assembly. Now we'll take the three wires coming out from the coil and carefully burn off the enamel coating using a flame. This will expose the copper underneath. Once that's done, we'll follow the wiring exactly as shown in the diagram to complete the connections properly. To ensure a strong and secure connection, we are using a soldering iron to solder the wires in place. This helps improve conductivity and keeps the wiring firm and reliable. Using a mini drilling machine, we'll carefully create a small hole in the box. Through this hole we will pass the wire of the 5 volts DC adapter, allowing it to connect neatly to the internal circuit. So we've now taken out the wire from the charger, a knot has been tied in there. We carefully strip the wire to expose the ends using a cutter, ensuring a solid and secure connection. After that, we neatly solder the wires to the coil. After connecting all the wires, we apply hot glue over them using a glue gun. This helps secure everything in place and prevents any loose connections or issues later on. At this stage, we are applying a generous amount of hot glue over the entire connection area. The reason for using so much glue is to make sure all the components, especially the wires, remain tightly fixed in place. We want to eliminate any chances of movement, loosening, or short circuits that could occur during operation. So friends, once again we need to bring in copper wire, and this time we'll wind it around the can 20 times. Once this step is fully completed, you have to carefully remove it in the same way you removed the previous one. After taking it out, use PVC tape once again to secure everything properly. This is important because the copper wire coil plays a crucial role in our project, and ensuring its stability and insulation is essential for proper functioning and, and safety. After this step, we need to bring in a micro USB cable. Using a cutter, trim the cable according to the required length. Once you've cut it properly, the next task is to connect it to the copper coil. Use a soldering iron to carefully join the wires together. Now let's bring in a mobile phone and place it over the coil to test how our device performs. Its V-type pin is connected to the mobile device. Now fix the coil by applying hot glue around it, making sure it holds tightly and doesn't shift during operation. We plug in the connector from the initial first coil into the power switch, and then we observe how it functions. The coil is compatible with any mobile phone. So friends, as you can clearly see, the mobile is charging successfully. We'll continue to bring you more interesting and creative videos like this in the future. If you enjoyed this project, do share your thoughts in the comments. Your feedback really helps us improve. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel so you never miss an update. I'll catch you all in the next video. Until then, goodbye and stay safe.